Alrighty, and now it is time to show you how to take all those lovely little Fans Project Explorer and Munitioner pieces and turn them into Bruticus. Uh, we'll start off with Onslaught here. Uh, you want to have him mostly transformed into torso mode, um, except you want to go ahead and pull this off and pop off the original headpiece here, because you're going to take this one, and it takes a little doing, but you're going to push this in until it clicks. There you go, it snaps right in. And once it's snapped on, it stays on uh, fairly well. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. It took a while, because at first I wasn't getting it to snap on, I wasn't getting it to snap on, and then it finally clicked into place, and that's exactly what you want to do. And then you just pull the chest up. And uh, complete the torso mode as usual. Now you want to spin the legs and the waist piece around so that the screws are, and the legs are facing forward, because you're going to take this piece right here, there's a couple of, you can see a couple of little pegs there, and they're going to go into those screw holes. Let's push that all the way in. Um, and again, the, 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 these are the outer pieces are on ball joints to let the, the legs move. Just like that. And then you're going to take these gun, take this gun right here, and this gun right here. So this should be down. This, this is how they are in gun mode. Uh, and you flip this up, flip this up, and then you snap them together. There's a little, you can see there's a little peg that uh, pegs in. And then you flip this down. And that's a shotgun for Bruticus. And then you do the same with the other two versions of this gun. Fold these up, snap them together, and that is another shotgun for Bruticus. And those you want to take and attach just like this. Just peg right into the sides of this big gun that came in the packs. And then you want to take right here, not not these two posts, but right here you can kind of see there's a split. Uh, you want to pull these all the way out like that. Spread those apart. And then that, the gun you can see there's the hole in the peg, hole in the peg right there. Uh, you're gonna just push this in like this. Get it all lined up right here. Here we go. And attach that to the back of Onslaught. Sorry for the close-ups. I can't back up any further than this to get away from the, the figures to fit them in frame. So, but I promise you once it's all put together, we'll, we'll show them all off. Um, but there you go. There's the uh, Onslaught torso. Uh, then you want to transform just the bottom half of Explorer here, uh, and then rotate his hips so the, the fins are facing forward. And you're going to take from one of the little guns that came with Swindle, you're going to take this, push, the, push this out, just come back here and kind of slide this down, and then slide it out. And there's one of his hands, and you can see it's got the really nice articulated fingers, um, and you see a peg hole in the back. There's a peg hole there right there on blast off slash explorer's foot. And you just want to attach the hand like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and you take this uh, machine gun here, fold this all the way forward and around, and flip that down. Uh, just the, the same way the handles on the, the shotgun were, there's a little square cut out, and there's a little square peg here on the hand. So you can just snap that into his hand. Actually, it helps if you get the, there you go. Get that first finger curled in there. And then you can wrap his hand, pose his fingers holding the gun. Like that. Um, very cool. And then you're going to take, there's two of these uh, kind of missile launcher arm attachment pieces. Uh, you'll see the one that has the two pegs on it. And basically there's two little slots here. And explores chest and you want to peg it takes a little force, but you want to snap that in to those two holes just like that, and then flip that connector down. And there's one arm complete. Um, and then vortex, you want to flip his arms up like this and rotate his feet around and waist around just like that. And then you're going to take the two pieces that the hands are in, go ahead and pull that other hand out. And then these are going to snap together, and you can see as these snap together, 
they form a peg down here. And now you take that and then you peg the hand on just like that. And that'll hold those two pieces together. Um, and then you slot, see there's a couple slots there and a couple tabs on uh, Vortex's legs and they just slide in. You just push it all the way on. And there you go. And you can move his, move his hand like that. Um, now he can use Explorer's uh, little axe here can fold out to be like a combat knife for Bruticus. Again, it's got the slot in the handle uh, so he can hold it in his hand. Um, and if you don't want to use it, you can fold it up. And there's a little peg right here. You can store it on his forearm. And when he's in robot mode, it kind of hides there behind the uh, behind this arm guard thing. Uh, and so he can store the knife on his arm. That's the other arm down. Oh wait, 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 take that back. Uh, you need to take this other missile launcher thing. Flip it around. And then you basically peg that peg hole onto that. Just push it on, wrap it around, and then peg it on. One of the one drawbacks of this kit is once you peg that on there, it's very hard to get this off. There's very little room unless you have long fingernails. It's hard to get under there. I've been using just the tip of my knife to pry up under there and pop these things off the pegs. But it does hold very well, so that's a bonus. And then the legs, you just want to bring the feet over and have Brawl and Swindle in their vehicle modes. And you can see they already kind of lean a little bit just because of the wheels. It's just the way it is. But uh, you just peg them in just like you would the Energon feet. And there is a little mechanism for, you can see there, that allows the ankles to have a little bit more movement. And you just do the same thing with Swindle. And there's everything all together. So... Why don't we go ahead, you won't see this right away, but you just, just like the Energon combiners, you just snap the legs in, like that. Um, and then you just, on the arms here, let me see if I can get up there. Yeah, just like that, you just want to snap the arms on again, give me a second to do that. And, uh... And there, push him back, in all of his glory, is the Fans Project Bruticus. He's very, very cool. Um, very massive, very awesome, very well armed, because again, you can pull either of those shotguns that's stored on his back. He can dual wield shotguns, and you can fold this gun up and store it on his back as well. Um, just a quick comparison, here he is with the, uh... oh, hold on, he came undone here. There we go. There he is with the... Uh... Crossfire 01 Superion set. And he's bigger than Superion. I, I kind of feel like that's appropriate. Um, I think somebody named Bruticus should be bigger. Even though technically a bunch of jet planes would make a robot much bigger than like a helicopter and a tank. But whatever. <laughs> so anyway, um, there it is. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It really adds some posability to uh, the combined form uh, the same way that Crossfire 1 did for Superion. It's just a great set overall. Definitely worth it. Pick it up. Uh, Fans Project, Crossfire. Crossfire 2, uh, Munitioner, and Explorer.